Pokemon Go, once an iPhone game, now part of the TCG itself. I'm very stoked for Pokemon Go coming to uh, <laughs> coming to uh, the TCG. I think this is a really cool crossover event. Um, I think the set is just the right size to where you don't need to really get too much of this in order to complete it or get like at least a lot of the fun stuff. It's just a good little fun have and fun love and fun set. And look at the brand. Ah, it's just so cool to see the Pokemon Go branding put on everything. I like that they still cut off our little tree man's head. I figure we start off for probably one of the most least exciting uh, products that came out with this launch, which is the Alolan Executor V. Um, Exolan Executor, I guess, is a staple of Pokemon Go? I don't know. I feel like I guess it was a big event. I remember it distinctly when it came out because I was in Italy. I remember taking a picture of the big thing near, like, the one fountain in Rome. So, uh, yeah, and I guess he's a special place in my heart, so kind of cool that he got a card in this. I don't think his promo card's necessarily anything cool or better than the set card because I think there's just a set card for him in this box already. But this is, like, one of your cheaper price point ones. Uh, thankfully with this, you just get all of the specialty set, which is what they normally do with these kind of products. It's kind of like Shining Fates or anything else. But um, yeah, you also get your nice little Lolan Executor V card, which I think is a different promo than the ones in the set. Growing Tail, Flip Coin, If Head, Search Deck for Five Energy Cards, Attach them. Mm. Okay, a little gamble with the Growing Tail, but it's kind of cool. Uh, this attack is 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each. Oh, 30 damage to one of your... Okay, so you don't only pick one. I was going to say, can you pick multiple? That'd be kind of neat. I think it's just one, and then you obviously get your nice Jumbo, which is cool. I actually get a Pokemon Go stamp one of those. And then uh, this thing's pretty cool, because you get them. I will have already had these redeemed on my account. But you get codes in the game, and um, from using them, it seems like the best thing you can get is really, like, incubators or a lure. Um, and it seems to be, like, one per, like, um, elite trainer box. But uh, I'll be interested to see what these four do. I also did open, like, an EV box off screen too, and I got, like, absolute garbage from it. So maybe the codes are just complete random, and I just got lucky with the two ETBs that I opened. Um, but yeah, I already kind of pulled the Chase Mewtwo off screen, so, you know, of course that happens, but I'd love to see if I could actually pull something cool in one of these videos. But, um, yeah, this is what the Pokemon Go packs look like. You get this kind of mosaic art thing on the front. For once, I feel like it looks pretty similar to the Japanese pack art, which is neat. You got almost like this Evolutions Blue kind of thing going on in the back. I bet that's going to trip people up when we start getting mystery boxes of Pokemon Go and inevitably down the road, because I'm sure that's going to happen. So, I think every one of these packs has a hollow in it, from what I remember. Oh, we got a V-Star marker off the bat. Um, and then, ugh, fuck Lunatone. If anybody's been playing the PTCGO, uh, you'll know Lunatone's been running amok and just ruining <laughs> any kind of fun you could potentially have with the game. Ugh. We got Bidoof, who can apparently only be a ditto in the reverse slot, it seems like. In the Japanese set, I know it could be any of them, but uh, with Go, it seems like it's just the main slot. Now we get a cute little Eevee with one of the gifts from Pokemon Go. I like that they uh, they really tried to incorporate at least something from the games in the art. I feel like for a lot of them, like, yeah, I know like there was like a tool shed thing promo, I feel like, when Meltan came out. Not all of them have it, but some of the cards that definitely have some sort of Pokemon Go counterpart have a fun little, like, yeah, like this Pikachu is definitely like from like the trailer, like, hey, look, he's walking with you in real life. Um, a lot of them do that kind of fun stuff. Is this not too from Legends? Oh, no, he's just on a trainer's shoulder. That's actually really cool. I never know. Oh, my God. Wow, it took me a second to actually gather what was in the art. Cool. Let's keep going. See if we can get any of the Radiants. That's really what I'm looking for. I've only pulled one so far. I have the Radiant Venusaur, which is ironically the one I wanted. Like, realistically, like, I've already opened everything that I've wanted from this set um, off screen, except for, like, maybe a few. Love the Apom with all the Pokeballs. This guy's a bastard in the game, and uh, <laughs> that certainly helps exemplify it. Eevee sitting on someone's lap. We got a Sleepy Numel. We got a Lolan Raticate. Camerupt. Oh, and Dragonite V. I haven't actually gotten any of the base uh, Pokemon V from this set yet. Not the Mewtwo, not this guy. Uh, whoever did the art for this looks really nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, I really like it. I, I like, again, do po do more V cards with um, actual, like, <laughs> unique um, artists on it, not just the, the five-band graphics, which I'm sure this guy is. Is this a... Oh, no, 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 this is an actual artist, too. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't exactly have that five-band look, but... Uh, ugh. I'm, they're honestly my least favorite art in the entire trading card game. It was like a dot on the back of one of those cards. First energy we got. Soul Rock, which helps charge your Lunatone. Lure Module's pretty good. Tremillion, the Ray Palm, Nummel, Radicate, Tranquil, Larvitar holding a Golden Raspberry, very cute. Eevee, oh, okay, cool. This actually helps. Now we can see the two arts side by side. So here's your normal set art, more focused on the back tail seed pod looking thing. And then the other art kind of focuses on the front of him. Neat. I don't actually think I've seen the base of Lone Executor art. Nice. Okay, two hits out of this so far. Pretty good. And we still have one pack left to go. Yeah, only one normal holo. Cool. 
Last booster, can we get, just give me a, a, a Radiant. Radiant would make it. That'd make this entire box. For four packs, holy crap, that'd be really good. I'm not expecting anything, probably just another base hollow. But let's see what we can get. Blanche, I think all the trainers are actually pretty bad. Love the Pied of on the swing. Onyx, Eevee, Charmander, oh, cute Bulbasaur. Is this a so-so art? Yeah, it is, hell yeah. Moltres Reverse, and Articuno. Cool, yeah, I forgot the birds are in there, and that also makes sense, because they're some of the first legendaries to get added to the game. Your basic Pokemon's attacks, except Arnie and Articuno do 10 more. Oh, okay, so this is kind of like the same. All the birds have this, like, oh, yeah, yeah, but the Moltres. I know the Zapdos does, because it's a way to play him with Vikavolt right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, the more you stack on the bench, the more bonus damage you're doing. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good from one little $20 box. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. More Pokemon Go content and other stuff to come. Peace.